So what we're going to have a look at in this video is the collaboration ability around the Microsoft OneNote uh, product. So what I've done here is I've opened up uh, Microsoft OneNote which comes with uh, every version of Office 2010. Uh, as you can see at the moment when I open it up for the first time I've uh, selected to create a local notebook and again this gives you an idea of what uh, functions OneNote can perform. So as you can see uh, it gives you a bit of a tutorial but you have the sections across the top and then down the right hand side you've got individual tabs um, with different sets of information and as you can see you can do linkages to all sorts of things you can um, you know write in simple text you can embed files and importantly anything that you do put into OneNote can be searched and that can be done in the in the top right up here but what you may not realize is that you can really start collaborating and sharing with others uh, when you combine OneNote with uh, SharePoint. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go over to File and I'm going to go New and I'm going to create a new uh, OneNote notebook. Now as you'll notice at the moment it, it's actually going to save it to uh, an Office 365 site that I have uh, created so I'm going to call it Demo and go out and allow it to uh, create the notebook for me on my Office 365 SharePoint online site. So at the moment it's obviously creating that notebook uh, then when it's completed that um, I can have the option to email a link to other people but we won't do that for the time being and as you can see down the left hand side here I now have a, uh, a demo notebook as well as the original personal one and I can swap between the notebooks and obviously have as many others uh, available as I want. You'll also notice in here that uh, the, the notebook currently is syncing. You see a little green syncing icon which has just now disappeared. That indicates that it's syncing any changes that you've made up to the SharePoint site. So what I'm going to put in here is um, some information um, for Okay, so then what's happening in the background is is that that will be syncing up to SharePoint. I can go in and, for example, change the section head. I can add uh, new pages. So if I put in a second page here, um, again, that is then all synced up with SharePoint in the background. And again, you'll notice here, if you look close, you'll see the little green sync icon is now in operation, just disappeared again which means it's now updated the information uh, to my SharePoint site. So if we just pop out and have a look at the SharePoint site, so this is the Office 365 SharePoint online site. This is the location into which I have uh, saved my information. So if I just refresh that page to give you a look, and as you can see in here, it's now got a single file called demo, the name of my uh, OneNote notebook, and again it uh, has all the information saved there and again it works like any other file in SharePoint uh, I can for example view the properties, edit the properties and one of the good things that I can do with uh, Office 365 is to use the Office Web Apps application and actually view the um, OneNote file in a, a browser so again I'm doing this without the need to have OneNote installed but not only can I view it, I can also select to edit it. So what I can now do is go back in here and um, add some changes. And when we close out of that, okay, you'll see that that has been updated. And that what we'll find is if we go back to our uh, original notebook, have a look at page one and it hasn't synced yet so if we want to force a sync we can right mouse click on this and select sync this notebook now and it will then go out and get us the latest changes and merge those into the local copy that we have on the machine so it's now done that and importantly you can see that in the 2010 version I have an indication that somebody else has actually added or modified this field so we're getting the ability to collaborate on uh, documents and information and we get a good indication of who's been working on this. So again, in many cases this is a great replacement for just bouncing emails backwards and forwards.
Now the other good thing about OneNote is that you do retain a local copy which means that if you aren't connected to the internet you can still open OneNote on the machine, uh, work on it uh, and add anything that um, you think is necessary and the next time that you connect to the internet you will be prompted to synchronize up your information and receive any new updates that have come down from others who have worked on the notebook. So what we'll do is we'll close out of OneNote here, uh, just minimize that. So just to demonstrate, if we go back into our uh, OneNote, we run the program, you'll notice that the um, notebook opens automatically in the same sort of arrangement. You'll notice that the green synchronization icon has now started. It's now synchronizing back up to uh, my Office 365 site to pick up any update. So again, if you are logged in via Office 365 with the uh, desktop client software installed, um, obviously you don't need to, uh, you won't be prompted for a login and you'll get that information pushed down to your desktop. If you uh, connect to another machine perhaps that doesn't have the um, Office 365 login assistant already installed, then basically you'll receive a warning bar up the top here saying, giving you the, the prompt to click on that and then asking you to log in to your Office 365 site or whatever hosted SharePoint you have um, to then update the OneNote information. So thank you very much for watching and this has been a video on how to synchronize and use Microsoft OneNote with SharePoint.